officers. Shelby Township's police chief, meanwhile, is on administrative leave tonight. Robert Shalid is under investigation for tweets about the protests and in some cases rioting we've seen across the country this week. One of the posts in question refers to people in a photo as quote wild savages and talks about body bags for these vicious subhumans. Rod Maloney live in Shelby Township with the latest on the reaction to all this. Rod. Well, uh, uh, Devin, as you can well imagine, there is deep concern here in Shelby Township. The chief now off the job with pay while they investigate these accounts. There are two of them. One is uh, called uh, Sheepdog 7-Eleven. Another one is Bobby S. And uh, tweets going back and forth in differing arenas. And it could be that the chief might lose his job because of what's in there. There is certainly no mistaking the sentiments in these Twitter posts. The violence prompting Bobby S. to say, this makes me want to vomit. Get ready for communism. We've lost the country to bottom feeders, savages, and weak anarchists. Then Bobby S. posted Trump threatening to deploy the military. I have a better idea. Unleash the real cops and let them take care of these barbarians. I promise it will be over in 24 hours. Cops are crippled by politicians and the media. A last original post said, Wild savages, I wish to God I would have been there. Body bags for these vicious subhumans. Oh, on another note, I dare you to drag me out of my vehicle. Bobby S. also replied to other posts, one apparently from a parent worried about a police officer's son in the middle of chaos who said, please make it stop, please pray. Bobby S. replies, I would hit them with tear gas and water cannons, rubber bullets. They have no right to be on the freeway. The question now surrounds whether the tweets actually belong to the chief. This afternoon, Shelby Township spokesperson Brad Bates had this to say about how the township board is reacting. Core of all of our beliefs as Americans is due process, presumption of innocence, and um, equal protection under the law. So, and right of freedom of expression. So at this time, Shelby Township is still gathering facts about the situation, and it's really premature to comment any further than this. Now, the Township Board had a special meeting this afternoon on, on another subject, but this was injected into it. The vote was unanimous, with some of them saying that they were reluctant to do it because they feel like the chief has done a very good job. But the investigation is now being done by an outside law firm. Reporting live in Shelby Township, Rod Maloney, Local 4.